Connecting Central Texas. This is 25 News. Hi everyone, I'm Todd Unger. Here's a look at your top stories this week. It's official. Governor Greg Abbott says schools can resume in-student teaching come August. The TEA says schools will not be required to test students for COVID-19 or even mandate facial coverings. Most districts will still allow for remote learning options if some parents don't feel comfortable having their kids back in a crowded environment. Far more details are expected to be released early next week. The father of Frankie Gonzalez, that two-year-old found in a dumpster in Waco more than two weeks ago, is now under arrest. Lorenzo Gonzalez is facing charges of abandoning or endangering a child. That's a second-degree felony. Records show he signed an agreement with CPS stating that he would not leave the children unsupervised with Frankie's mother, Laura Sanchez, due to risk of harm to those kids. But Waco PD says Lorenzo did just that, leaving the kids alone with Laura. She was arrested shortly after Frankie was found and is currently being held at the McLennan County Jail. Now it's time for a check on your First Alert 25 forecast. All right, thanks, Todd. Let's take a look at the forecast for you. Temperatures will be into the low to mid 90s on Friday. 20% chance of an isolated storm sneaking in from the north. Probably not going to amount to too much for our area. Mid 90s Saturday and Sunday again, maybe an isolated storm threat as we head into the beginning of next week. I'll take it up just a touch. As we head into Tuesday and Wednesday, 30% chance for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms as the pattern shifts just a little bit, but it's still not the greatest chance of rain out there. But maybe a few more people seeing some rain and then back to 20% as we round out next week.